Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Support my channel by subscribing and clicking the bell icon. You'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the support you've given me so far. I really appreciate it. But remember, we are looking at a road to 1,000 subscribers. Support me guys. I'll always be very grateful. Thank you for the support. In today's video, we are going to look at another security company. And this security company, this time we are looking at, uh, we are looking at what we call European Guarding and Security Services. Remember, we talked about all the other companies. We saw what the other companies can do. We saw the salary payment of the other companies. We saw the welfare of other companies. But still, I've been getting a lot of comments that have been coming from uh, the viewers. And, and one was actually, uh, yeah, that I got almost 20 people from Sri Lanka and they are too, too much asking about uh, what you call the European Guardian. Uh, so I was like, I need to give you this video. I need to tell you what it's all about with European Guardian as another security. Remember, European Guardian also is another good team player in the security industry in Qatar. And it's one of the companies that I've seen for that for so long and I've been giving what you call a very good security services which is appreciated uh, with all the clients that they get to serve. So remember, uh, when we talk about these companies, uh, we, we are actually trying to highlight a few things. We are trying to see how this company is better than the other company. What can this company do that is another company do? So I do the research and I'll do my research and uh, I just leave the rest to you. You, you can as well go to those uh, company websites, you can try to check out a little few of the things which I may not mention when I'm talking about in the video. So you can try to find out those few things that you think that are making that company is a little bit better than another company uh, that you think you know at that time. Remember, uh, let's talk about the European Guarding Company, European Guarding and Security Services. Remember, we may already know that European Guardian is an international security company. It has been operating the security business in Qatar. As its name, the company has full ownership of the European country. That is why it's called European Guardian. Let us look at the services. What are the services that are being offered by the European Guardian? Yes, we looked at other services from other companies from um, uh, Alsai, from ACES, we looked at other companies from the Falcon, we look at ICID, we look at uh, Stark, uh, we look at all those companies. But remember, most of the security companies do provide almost similar services. Guarding, protection, system control, they do provide almost similar services. But again, the question in the video is that, how much does a, a security guard and in that particular company and i think that's what my our main focus was that what is the ratio of the salary what is what salary range does a person earn if he's working in that company i think that's the main focus so but still let us try to look at what are the services that are offered by the european guardian we say they offer what you call the manned security services they offer the risk management cash solutions event solutions and what you call the electronic solutions so those are some of the services that uh, the european guarding uh, uh, company or security services they do offer to the different clients that they have at, at the side so but remember all in all our main focus is how much does a security guard earn in european guarding that's where their main focus is how much does the security guard and European guard? Remember, when we talk about salary in Qatar, something that you need not forget is the basic salary. The basic salary that was introduced under the gazetted law uh, minimum wage in Qatar. And uh, after that bill was passed, uh, remember that after the bill was passed, everyone, everyone working in Qatar is supposed to get a basic salary of one thousand food allowance of 300 and accommodation allowance of 500 but remember most security companies are provided with accommodation uh, accommodation accommodation so meaning that you are not entitled to what we call 
uh, housing allowance or accommodation allowance. That is if in some incidents or in some situation whereby you, 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 you want security guard that is guarding a hotel or is guarding uh, a personal home that you're not provided for that. But, but all we know is that uh, most security companies are provided with accommodations. And one of the days I'll talk about accommodations with security guards and accommodations uh, we get to say. So remember, uh, basic salary for eight hours is 1,000. Then food allowance is 300. That is in case your company does not provide for you food, does not give you food. You cook food for yourself, then you prepare food for yourself. That is that you get a basic salary of 1,300. That is uh, eight, hour, eight, eight hours. And if you work more hours, depending on where you are working from, then probably it will be a much higher salary at the time. But remember, the maximum, uh, the minimum time that a security guard works in Qatar is, uh, I think people are working eight hours under those projects that are working eight hours, depending on, on which kind of location and depending on the contract that the company have at one moment or that. Let's just get into the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, please. Don't forget to subscribe like the video, gives us a thumbs up and press that bell icon so that you'll be the first to know when I upload a new video. Support my channel to 100 subscribe, 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that support. Let's just look at the salary. Remember, the typical European guarding and security service guarding, the startup salary is between 1,600. That is a startup. The security guard salary at European guarding services range between 1,300 to 2,200 and this salary it will depend the project that you are working in and how many work, how many hours of work you are working. I told you the number of hours is always very important. To some companies the number of worker the number of hours is very important compared is very important for your payment of your salary because you comparatively you cannot get the same amount of money for someone who's working eight hours and someone who's working 12 hours remember we talked about how to calculate overtime i remember you can watch in the videos uh, i talked about how you can calculate the overtime and how much does the security guard make if all when we go to the new uh, katali balo how much does the security guard get when we try to get down to calculate one per now per, per, per overtime until the end of the year, you find out that uh, the hours that you get working one way or the other, it will depend and that is the amount of money that you get. But remember, we are talking about the startup salary uh, at European Guarding that starts within the range of 1,300 to 2,200. However, the estimates, the estimates I'm talking about in this video, we are based, we are based on the three European guarding security guards that I go to interview, right? So that was the range. They're giving me the range that someone when he, someone works his day, when he works his payment at the end of the month, he will get between 1,300 to 2,200 uh, around that time, depending on how many hours you're working and which kind of project you're working with. So these are uh, surveys that I got depending um, uh, actually uh, estimates that we are based to three European guarding security guards that we are undisclosed. However, we say that an average European guarding security service we, we, we will be given that money accordingly. That remember, if in case we are talking about where food is not being provided at one moment of time, then let us look at a salary of a supervisor in European guarding. Also, this survey that I took it was. The survey or information collected from the two supervisors that I go to get encountered on one on one, and this is what they have to say. Or these are kind of the estimates they say they, they are giving me at all. Say that a security a security supervisor or a supervisor in European guarding gets a payment which is approximately to three thousand seven hundred forty two Qatar real, which is 20 percent above the natural average on estimates that is the salary of a supervisor in the european garden hope you picked up something from my video but uh, thank you so much uh, please support my channel by subscribing and pressing that notification bell you always be the first one when i upload a new video thank you so much see you once again
makes from the next question, teach with my child.